Hey guys, we are live and I'm going to get right into it. We are giving away a motorcycle for someone who rides with me two times this year. So we're going to do the Eureka Spring Fling and we're going to do the Convoy. In this video, I am going to give you some broad details on the Convoy and I apologize that I haven't been able to give you more, but I am waiting on, without throwing anybody under the bus, some other people to wrap up their details so that I can finish mine and announce everything. But I can give you some broad details and um, I can give you all the details on the first one, which is Spring Fling in Eureka Springs. This is a little flyer. If you guys are on my mailing list, you've already seen this and you have the details and you got to jump on everybody else as far as getting entered to win this bike. So if you're not on my mailing list, go to adamsandoval.com and sign up for my mailing list and you get all the information uh, ahead of everybody else in an email directly to you uh, that's put together by my team, which is like the details, way better than I can ever do if we're being honest. Okay, I'm kind of a broad kind of guy. These people put together the details and make sure that you get all the information you need. But... This is the one we're mainly talking about today, and this is Saddle Up with Sandoval. It is happening at the Eureka Springs Spring Fling Rally. It's a rally that happens every year up in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Some of the best riding in America. I don't care who you are. You cannot argue that the Ozark Mountains are some of the best riding because they are. Okay? And I have partnered up with Pig Trail Harley Davidson, okay, and a few other partners to give away a motorcycle at Spring Fling this year. We're giving away that red motorcycle right there. And you got all the details on it if you're on my email list. It is a custom built motorcycle. It'll have D&D exhaust on it. It'll have Krauss bars on it. It is a very cool bike. And all of the, uh, all of the, the proceeds from this bike giveaway are going to the Combat Vets Motorcycle Association. And if you all follow my channel at all, you know, especially my YouTube channel, you know I love the Combat Vets Motorcycle Association. They do so much for veterans across the country. I always love to support them. So this one's going to them. How it works is very simple. The only way, I repeat, the only way you can enter to win this bike is by riding with me on the 20th of April. You have to show up. You have to ride. One person who rides with me that day will win this bike. That's it. There's no way to order online. There's no mass where you compete with thousands of people. There's not, none of that. I want this to be a, you have to ride with me. You have to put miles on your bike with me in order to win this bike. And there's only one day to do it on. If you don't show up that day and ride with me that day, you cannot win this bike. So I'll give you the details on the convoy, which, you know, if you can't make it to this, maybe the convoy works for you. But if you want to win this motorcycle right here, you have to ride with me on April 20th. We'll be starting in Eureka Springs and we'll be finishing in Rogers, Arkansas. And then there'll be an after party at my friends over at the cat house. But basically it is $100 to enter to ride with me on this ride. 100% of that $100 is going to the Combat Vets Motorcycle Association. There are only 200 people allowed to ride with me on this ride. Once those 200 spots are filled up, Sorry, but your chances are done. So if you want to sign up to ride with me, you can either scan that QR code, screenshot this, and scan that on your phone, or you can go over to pigtrailhd.com and you can register right there. It's $100 to get in on the ride per bike, okay? Only 200 bikes are allowed. So if you show up and ride with me with these 200 people, you have a one in 200 chance of winning that bike. Now. There will be opportunities, if you're already one of the 200 riders at our different stops, to purchase more tickets, okay? So the 200 riders are the only people who have a chance, but while you're on the ride, there will be certain opportunities to buy more tickets if you want to. Again, all that money going to Combat Vets Motorcycle Association. This is an all-day ride. This is like a three, four-hour riding time, okay? Just on riding time, this is like a three or four-hour ride. This is like, let's get out and put down some miles and enjoy a full day of riding together. Okay, I'll be making videos on it and everything else. So, just to recap, giving away a motorcycle, that motorcycle right there, you guys can see it. Okay, it's 100% custom built. If you're on my website, you've already got all the information. If you're not, go to adamsandoval.com. You can get signed up for my newsletter and you'll get all this information ahead of time. Okay, and um, you have to ride with me. Only 200 riders total. $100 to ride with me. All of that money going to a very worthy charity, the Combat Vets Motorcycle Association.
That's the details on this. I'm going to go ahead and open up questions. If anybody's got any questions, you can ask me and I will let you know. Starting in Eureka Springs, Arkansas, which is where my new campground is, the Green Tree Lodge. I've also got some exciting news coming out in the next week regarding that place and the free veteran stays that I'm going to allow or uh, I'm going to put up for veterans there. Um, starting in Eureka Springs, Arkansas, it'll finish in Rogers, Arkansas, uh, both at Pig Trail Harley Davidson locations. So Pig Trail Harley Davidson in Eureka Springs, Pig Trail Harley Davidson in Rogers, Arkansas will be the starting and ending points. And you will get breakfast with your $100 entry. So we'll leave Pig, uh, Eureka Springs Harley Davidson there and you will get breakfast uh, with your entry. So it's not just a chance to raise money for veterans. You also get a breakfast. All right, so let's shoot. What do we got for questions? Lay them on me. Any questions? Come on. What's up, Jackie? How's it going, Jeff? Rod, Roger, I see you on. Carrie, welcome to the feed. We're talking about giving away free motorcycles. I'm going to be doing two of them this year that I'm giving away to people who ride with me. So I'm excited about that. Just getting a ride chance with you is good enough for most of us, but absolutely I'll do it for a chance to win the new bike. Rock and roll, Andrew. Great attitude, and I look forward to seeing you out there. Good luck on winning the bike. Absolutely. Any other questions? When is this year's convoy? Den uh, Dennis, I will give you the details on that here shortly. I'm just going to talk about this first one first, and then we'll talk about the convoy. Um... Looks like my lady, yes, that is, uh, that is uh, Valentine's Day. Unfortunately, I could not be with her on Valentine's Day because I had to work. I was up in Eureka Springs taking care of some stuff, so I sent her some flowers to the uh, hospital where she works at. So, yep, my baby's flowers. Um, let me see here, what else we got? Uh, when is the ride scheduled? So it is April 20th. And you can get all the information at pigtrailhd.com. So if you go to pigtrailhd.com, you can secure one of your 200 spots um, and get all the details. Uh -huh. uh. Tune in late. Still think I would definitely am thinking of Alaska. Every day I think of Alaska. Someday I hope to make it. What has been my favorite Harley? Um... My favorite Harley would probably have to be my Warhorse, my old 1996 Electric Glide Standard. Um, it's the one that is my personal favorite. As far as the best Harley I've ever ridden, definitely the new 24 Road Glide. Definitely the best bike Harley I've ever ridden for sure. Um, just reading through these questions here, guys. Wish you could make the convoy. I wish you could make the April ride. Looking forward to the convoy. That's fine. That's why there's going to be two chances. So the April ride is not the only chance. Where's Charlie? He says. So Charlie is right here chewing on her bone. What are you doing, Charlie girl? What are you doing, baby? What is this? Huh? They want to see you. They want to see you. What do you got there? Oh, is that your bone? Oh, okay, now I'm getting kisses. Is that your bone? Huh? Are you a good girl? <laughs> she loves her bone. Absolutely. Let's see here what else what else we got will you put the date in the facebook post later dumb question for sure because you always keep us up to date uh yeah it's april 20th uh it's on the flyer and it's also on my website and it's on pictrailhd.com and if you're on my mailing list go to my adamsandoval.com and sign up for my mailing list and you get all these details emailed right to you too and uh charlie wants to show off her bone now i guess <laughs> But yes, there'll be other posts up where I'll have all the dates and stuff too. How's the new campground going? I hope everything is awesome. Uh, yeah, the new campground is going really well. Obviously, winter is a slow season for us. So we've used it to do a lot of renovating. I'm actually headed up there right after this video. I'm going to go spend uh, three days up there. And we're putting new fencing and new decking around the pool. So I'm excited for that. Um, so we'll redo the whole pool area. So that'll be fresh for the summer. We've got uh, a beautiful RV park. We're really, I think, the only RV park in the city limits of Eureka Springs. So there's some other ones around the outskirts, but I think in the city limits, we're, we're the only one. Um, at least that's what I was told. Um, and I think that's correct. 
But um, yeah, so we're going to do that. I want to get a hot tub in there too. I want to have a nice hot tub in there. But we're going to work on that. I'm going to hopefully have that for this year. Sorry, guys. Going to go back through these questions. Patricia, good morning. How's the campground? Good, good. Does Charlie ride with me? No, Charlie doesn't ride with me just yet. Um, she might. I might get a. Uh, I might get a. a um, a sidecar or something like that for her to ride with me because she's going to be big. But really, her job is to be a house dog here for my family. Um, her job is to be a protector and to uh, take care of my family. She wasn't really, I didn't get her for the purpose of riding. If I can make it work, I'm going to. But that wasn't my number one job uh, or goal when getting her. My goal was to get a good protector and dog for my family. Wish you could join the convoy. Well, Ken, the convoy, I haven't released the dates yet, but they will be coming out soon. Um, actually, I'm going to give you, uh, I can probably give you the dates today, and then, um, or at least a, a very close to the dates. I'm just waiting on a few people before I can release all the information. I'm waiting on a few people to get back to me and, and finalize some stuff on their end. So I'm kind of in a holding pattern for other people. Otherwise, I would have had this to you guys a month ago. Good morning, Steve. I'm answering questions right now regarding giving away this motorcycle April 20th at the Spring Fling Rally in Eureka Springs, Arkansas, which is also the home of my Green Tree Lodge campground we've been talking about. You know you can take a break for a year from doing something for vets and us vets okay with it. You already appreciate what you've done. <laughs> uh, Marlon, man, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That is something that if we're going to be honest is been a struggle for me. Like, I feel like I always have to do something more or do something bigger. I always have to find a way to help more and I enjoy doing it. So I won't be taking a year off, but it is nice to have someone, uh, tell me that it's not expected or that I've done enough because sometimes I feel like no matter what I do, people attack me and, and tell me I could do more, I could do better or, you know, and it's just, um, I'm pretty good about letting that stuff roll off my back. I'm used to it now. And you reach as many people as, as I often do on these programs, you're going to find those people who just find negative and everything. Um, so I'm pretty good about letting it roll off my back, but it is nice to hear someone say something like that, man. So thank you very much for saying that. That, that means a lot to me. Um, it makes me feel understood and, uh, appreciated. Um, and it makes me feel like the work that I'm doing matters. So, so thank you for that. Uh, I won't be taking a year off. I'm going to raise lots of money for veterans this year. Um, and I'm going to give lots of veterans free vacations this year. And I'm going to do everything I can for veterans this year, just like last year. But uh, that comment meant more to me than what you probably know. So th thank you for that. Can't wait to see the convoy map. Uh, hope I can meet up again. again. I hope you can too. I'm going to give you some details. I'll give you the regions, kind of how we're going. I'll give you kind of close to the starting dates. Um, and I can give you real close to the ending dates too. Um, but that's about all the details I'm going to be able to give you today. Just because I'm waiting on some other people to finalize their stuff. And I'm sorry, I've been begging to get it finalized. I just haven't been able to get it finalized. What's the two rides about? Okay, Chris, so you're just tuning in and you didn't see the beginning. April 20th, I'm doing a ride called Saddle Up with Sandoval and I'm giving away that bike right there. It's a 2023 Harley Davidson all custom done with great parts from a lot of my partners. And I'm going to give this bike away to one person who rides with me in one day. So there's one day, whoever rides with me that day, one of them takes home this bike. There's no other way to win it. Um, only those people who show up that day at Pig Trail Harley Davidson to ride with me will have a chance to win this bike. We're cutting it off to a limit of 200 people. So no more than 200 people can show up to ride and win this bike. The second one is going to be the convoy, which I will be giving away another motorcycle to someone who rides with me on the convoy. That one will cross multiple states and be multiple weeks, and you'll have multiple chances to get involved. Uh, this one is just a one-time deal, and the money that is uh, raised for entering this ride, 100% is going to the Combat Vets Motorcycle Association, a group I support wholeheartedly. All right, so those of you that just tuned in, there's kind of the, the real high level. Again, if you're not on my website, adamsandoval.com, 
you're not getting the emails and the updates with all this information where you get early chances to get in and get involved. So please go to adamsandoval.com, sign up to get on my email list. I send about, I don't blow you up. I do like maybe once a month, I send an email and it just gives what's coming down the pipe, what's happening. It gives details. Should you want to know about the convoy or this ride or other things? I have a team of people who put together that stuff in a very uh, cohesive email that makes it so that you can um, get the details way better than what I'm able to do on social media, okay? Uh, Two-wheel drive Euro with, with a sidecar. Logan, you're 100% correct on that. I should make that happen. Good to see you on there, buddy. Adam, we love everything you stand for. The service members, veterans, appreciate your tenacity of support. Thank you, Jeremiah. I appreciate that, my friend. Uh, it's my life mission. I mean, it. listen, in life, sometimes you got to do things that make you feel good. For some guys, it's getting a Ferrari and driving it down Miami makes them feel like they've done something with their life. For me, man, when I raise this money for charity and I see these veterans that we're helping um, and I see community come together and ride together and do things together, that makes me feel fulfilled. That makes me feel like I've done something. So, you know, it is also very selfish. I do it because it makes me feel good. Oh, you hear that? My, uh, my eggs are done. So I have chickens and I get farm fresh eggs. So I am right now boiling myself some eggs for breakfast. And my, uh, my, uh, my alarm just said that they're done. So I got me some farm fresh eggs. I'm going to eat here in a minute. <laughs> All right. Oh, I want to organize a ride. Okay. This is Jeremy. I want to organize a ride to pay off delinquent school lunches, which was inspired by you. Any tips you have would be appreciated. Jeremy Meyer. Listen, man. Um, First of all, this is a perfect example of what I mean when I talk about the money I raise as a drop in the bucket and why I share it on social media. Sometimes people will attack me, okay, and they'll say things like, oh, you should do charity for the charity, not for the publicity. And those people don't understand charity. If you say that, you do not understand charity and you do not understand the reason I do charity. I do charity to try to have an impact on the world, to try to make a difference in a positive direction that I can be proud of, that my wife can be proud of, that my family can be proud of, that the people who work with me can be proud of, that the companies that partner with me can be proud of. I do charity to help and to make a difference. And when I put stuff online like this, it does, just like this message I read from Jeremy, I'm gonna read it one more time. I want to organize a ride to pay off delinquent school lunches, which was inspired by you. Any tips would be greatly appreciated. Jeremy Meyer. If I didn't put this stuff online, I would not have reached Jeremy and he would have not been inspired and he would not be going off and doing his own adventures. So I can selfishly do the charity myself and not talk about it and not put it online, raise less money, help less people, and I don't inspire anybody. Or I can put it online and the money I raise is a drop in the bucket compared to all the different people like Jeremy here who are going to go out and do their own initiatives because they were inspired. And that, my friends, is the true reason it's important to talk about the problems that our country has and the things that we need and the good work you do. It's not about just being like, oh, look all the great stuff I did. Yeah, that feels wonderful and, and, I'm, and I'm thankful for that and and, and it's nice when people thank me. It makes me feel good for sure. But at the end of the day, my job, my mission is to create awareness and inspiration. And Jeremy here, uh, you're, you're a perfect example of why that works and how that works. And you will go off and raise a bunch of money to help a bunch of people that need it. And I literally have nothing to do with it other than sharing what I was doing. And that is how change happens. That's how the growth happens in positivity and helping people. So Jeremy, my, my only, my only thought to you is share your mission as much as possible. Let as many people know about it as you can. Uh, enlist friends to help you share that and network with colleagues to help you share that mission and be diligent and be stubborn. See it through. Once you say you're going to do it, do it. And never, ever, ever let anything get in the way of you reaching that goal and doing that, Jeremy. That, my friend, is how you get it done. There are plenty of times I've <laughs> signed up to do different fundraising things and they've gotten super difficult and super complicated and super hard and it would have been easy to just say, ah, eh, you know what, we'll do a different one. 
but I've stuck with it. I've stayed stubborn. I've pushed through and I've seen it to the end. And I think that's a big piece of the success. So that's the best advice I can give you, Jeremy. Thank you for asking. Uh, look forward to riding through the summer. Rod, what's happening? Uh, definitely do a lot of things for vets. Keep up the good work, brother. Thank you, Roger. Um, the work you do truly matters. Greatly appreciated by all those who have rolled with you and understand what a high quality person you're. Oh man. Thank you, Dennis. I appreciate that. That means a lot. Uh, well, become to St. Charles, Harley Davidson, Missouri, or near Ted's docks. Well, um, probably, but I can't release that information just yet because I'm still waiting on some information. Excited to ride with you this year. Love what you do, man. From Omaha, Nebraska. All right, Omaha. Oh, there's more there. Hope I get something going one day like you. See, there's another example. Rodney, you can do it, brother. Just put your mind to it and stay stubborn. That's what I always say. Normally, I got a stay stubborn hat on. Today, I got my Simpson hat on. But normally, it's a stay stubborn hat because that's the way you get stuff done, man. Put your mind to it and stay stubborn. Don't let people talk you out of it. Uh, am I coming through Idaho? Uh, we'll have to wait and see on the route, but not on the spring fling ride. Um, how much is the ride on April? Robert wants to know. So the ride in April is 200 riders and it is $100 per bike, okay? $100 per bike, 100% of that money goes to Combat Vets Motorcycle Association and you get a free breakfast with it and we go on an all-day ride together, okay? Only 200 people are going to be entered to win this bike. One of those 200 people is going home. So the spots are limited. So go to pigtrailhd.com if you want one and secure it now because once the 200 are filled up, that's it. Nobody else gets a chance. I'll try to get another 1,000. Dude, I tell you, man, uh, I'm going to mispronounce your name. Ludig, Ludig, that is exactly what's up. So he gave $1,000 at the last convoy, and that is the type of thing. People that were going together and collecting in their own community and then showing up to the convoy and making those donations, that's how we were able to break over $620,000 we raised for the Wounded Warrior Project on that last convoy. That's over, well over half a million dollars. That's phenomenal, you guys. <laughs> thank you, Ann. I'm glad you like my new puppy. Billy, thank you, sir. All right. Met me on the High Seas Rally. You gave me a shirt and a hatch, which we wear proudly. I am not doing the High Sea Rally again. Um, I did enjoy it, but it's just, it's a lot. And um, I'm just not going to do it again this year. Maybe someday in the future I'll do another one, but um, not this year. I did enjoy that year, though, and I'm glad we got to connect. And I'm glad you're still uh, rocking the, the merch I gave you on there. Every once in a while, I'll bring merch with me to events and just surprise people and just give it away. Jackie, I am uh, not generous. I work hard uh, to do good things for our community and our country. But it is also selfish. It makes me feel good, and it makes me feel like my life means something, and it makes me feel accomplished. So there's a, a selfish element to all that charity work as well. So please don't. Um, I'm, I'm just doing what I feel like I need to do, right? It's what I was meant to do. People that are not doing anything love to love to criticize those that do. Yeah, that is for sure, baggers and brews. Good to see you guys on, man. If you guys don't follow Bakers and Brews, go check them out. They're a great channel. All right, Raymond. I look forward to seeing you out there. Thank you, Aaron. I appreciate that comment. Okay, Jeremiah says, charity for the sake of charity is one thing. What you do is provide an opportunity to grow future charitable events, which allows broader reach for those that are recipients. The naysayers don't understand the growth requirements. I agree with you 100%, partner. James, I'm 71 and want to ride with you in another convoy. James, you are my hero, brother. Yeah. Sorry, my Wi-Fi got a little funny there. Oh, man, thank you, guys. Thank you all so much. You guys are all so kind. Stay stubborn. That's right. The tortoise is doing good, Mike. Growing like a weed. 
All right, planning to join the convoy. Marsha, that's my mother's name. Thank you so much. So kind of you to say that, Marsha. Here to help you on, on these rides. I am single, have my own bike, retired, live close to Eureka. I would love to volunteer to help you at the campsite or camp road. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, thank you very much for that. I am, I'm going to throw this out there right now. I am looking, and you can go to my website and just email us if you're interested. I am looking for a couple work campers. So if you are interested in coming and staying at my Eureka Strings Park, you got an RV, you want to park it, and you can help me with like some light carpentry and painting and things like that. I am looking for a couple work campers. Um, so if you do are interested in becoming a work camper, please email my website, uh, adamsandoval.com. Deb, Joe Doyle, come on out. Let's do it. Let's shake those hands. Let's take a picture. Let's, let's enjoy it. Let's do some good together. All you got to do is just commit to meet me out there at one of my runs and we will do that together. Man, y'all are just awesome. Good morning, Terry. Oh man, James wants to help on another convoy, 71 years old. I love it. You guys give a bunch of hearts for these men and women who want to be part of it. Just fill that with thumbs ups and hearts. I just want to see him flood the screen, man. These people are amazing. This is community. This is what I try to do. I try to bring people like that together because together we make a huge impact, y'all. All right, guys, there are just these comments are pouring in. I'm sorry if I'm missing yours. There's just too many there for me to hit. I'm going to show you guys Charlie one more time because I see a couple of asks in here. And um, sorry, I'm scrolling through these. Um, all right, so I'm just going to recap real quick, and then I'm going to talk about the convoy. So to recap, Saturday, April 20th, we are going to be starting at Eureka Springs Harley-Davidson in the morning with a free breakfast, and we are going to ride about three to four hours worth of riding till we end at Rogers, Harley Davidson. And then from there, we're gonna do an after party at the Cat House. One person who rides with me that day will win that 2023 Harley Davidson. And there's only 200 spots available. They're $100 a piece, 100% of the money goes to the Combat Vets Motorcycle Association. And that's it, nobody else is allowed to enter. There will be opportunities if you are entered and you are on the ride, there will be opportunities to get extra tickets at discounted rates to increase your odds amongst the 200 people that are entered to win this bike. But one person who rides with me that day will be taking that bike home, period, point blank. Um, and that is Pig Trail Harley Davidson uh, and myself and all these sponsors who are helping us put that together, okay? Then, um, then the convoy. We can talk about the convoy. Charlie, where you at, girl? Charlie, where you at, baby? There she is. There she is. What are you doing? What are you doing, huh? Hmm? You got to go outside? You got to go potty? Come on, let's go outside. Sorry, I'm going to let my dog outside. We're still training her, and I don't want her to have an accident. The convoy. I know a lot of you are wanting to talk about the convoy. Come on, let's go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go on. Go outside. The convoy is... Um, is, is happening 100% and I'm going to give a motorcycle away. I can't tell you what motorcycle I'm giving away yet. And I can't tell you where we're all stopping yet. What I can tell you is that it is going to end at Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. So if you ride the convoy with me, it is going to end at the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. Where at the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally? I can't tell you yet. It is going to start somewhere on the East Coast. Where it's going to start on the East Coast? I cannot tell you yet. But it is going to start on the East Coast, it is going to end at the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally, and it's going to start somewhere around the first week of July, give or take the days, okay? So if you're looking to take time off and you want to ride the entire thing with us, okay, we're making this one a little bit smaller. It's only going to be four or five weeks long, um, but, and we're going to do more stopping at like national parks and like famous roads, like I'm just throwing this out as an example, like Tail the Dragon or the Pig Trail in Eureka Springs or, um, you know, something like that. So it is going to be four or five weeks long. We are going to do more uh, dream ride locations, okay? More motorcycle destinations will be part of the road. It won't be just such a dealer to dealer stop um, because we want to make it like a bucket list trip for people. We want people to come on this, help us raise money and have the ride of their life besides 
uh, just the camaraderie, which, I mean, we had a ride of our lives last time, don't get me wrong, but I want to have more time to do the fun stuff for people. A lot of people drove, rode right by places they've always wanted to stop and couldn't stop because we are on such a tight time schedule. So we're changing that up a little bit to make it to where more people will want to ride for longer periods of time. So our goal is to get people to ride the whole thing. Uh, that's, that's really our goal, more people to ride with us the entire thing. But it is going to start somewhere around the first week of July. It's going to end at Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. And we are going to have more fun scheduled into the schedule. Okay, those are the things I can tell you about it. If you want to start taking time off or clearing up, those are hard facts. Everything else I cannot release because I'm waiting on some people to, to get me some information. I'm not throwing anybody under the bus. I'm going to keep it to myself and who and what because these people are partnering with me and they're helping me and, and it's a good thing. But there's just a lot of T's to cross and I's to dot. So we're trying to get those things done so that I can release real hard details. Believe me, I'm working hard at it. Um, but some things are just out of my control. So please consider... Please consider um, getting that time off and coming to ride with us. We'll be starting somewhere on the East Coast. Now, here's what you can do. If you've got a dealership by you that wants to be part of the convoy, you can email my website now. Have Not you. They need to email my website, right? They need to email me and say they want to be part of it. So you need to go to that dealership. You need to tell them that there's an opportunity to get involved. And you need to have them email me. And we can try to get them on the list, okay? Because it's going to be a select list this year. Not just everybody's going to be able to be on it uh, because it is a shorter convoy. So it's a select list. We need everybody to reach out to us and want to be part of this. If they don't want to be part of this, I'm not going to add them to my list. I only want dealers who actually care about supporting our veterans in this effort. Okay, so get your local dealership. Get them to send us some information saying they want to be part of it, and we will do our best to get them added to the list. All right, guys? Um, that's all the information I can give you about the convoy at this moment. I can tell you it is going to happen. We are going to raise a ton of money. We're also going to have a ton of fun. And we are going to do a bucket list style motorcycle trip and raise a bunch of money for some people who need it at the same time. All right? So, it's uh, four to five weeks. If you guys can get the time, get the time. Come on, let's do it. Um, it's tough being away from your family and friends and work and everything else for that period of time. Believe me, I know. I do it all the time. I, I, I get it. But if you can be stubborn, put your mind to it and stick to it and do it with us, be glad to have you. All right. <sighs> Let's see. I guess that's about it for the information. I hope you guys will come to Eureka Springs. Like I said, my new campgrounds there, the Green Tree Lodge. I'm super proud of this place, y'all. I have always wanted to be in Eureka Springs. I've always wanted to be in Eureka Springs. I've always loved that town. And, um, you know, they honored me with the key to the city a year ago. And now this year, I bought a campground in the city, which was just, it was amazing for me. Like, I, I can't tell you what that moment meant to me. Uh, it meant a lot. And I do have some free veterans. I just set something up so that we got some free stuff for veterans. I'll give you, Charlie, come on, get out of there. Come on, baby. Get out of there. Good girl. Um, I just set some stuff up. I'll give you the details on that in the next week. So we've got some stop, stop. We got some spots where veterans can stay for free in Eureka Springs, which is important for me and everything I do. I try to find a way to implement veterans into it. So, um, yeah. And if you want to stay with us, I don't know what our schedule looks like, how booked up we are at Green Tree. We're probably booked up. If I had a guest for Spring Fling already, maybe some RV spots open yet. Um, probably cabins are booked. But I don't know. You just go to stay at com, and you can, you can look at our reservations and availabilities right there. Okay. Um, I'll be up there for sure. So spring fling, I'm excited for it. It's going to be a good time. It is the weekend of April 20th, uh, that whole weekend. And then, uh, that night we'll party at the cat house lounge, which is, you know, one of my favorite biker bars in America, if we're being honest. Uh, Randy wants to know about Arizona campground. Randy, I am going to say this. I am working on some projects right now that I can't really talk about, but my goal is with these projects to be able to have a campground in Arizona and in East Tennessee or West North South Carolina. What, in the Smoky Mountains range and the Arizona range, I'm hoping to have something in both of those in the next year or two. So I'm working very hard on something to try to make that happen. Um, that's all I can say, but yes, Arizona is definitely on my list. My goal is to have a campground strategically across America where veterans can go to vacations in different areas and uh, where veterans go to vacations in different areas and uh, enjoy themselves, right? 
and also have a little business of my own in each of those areas where I can go and enjoy myself. It's a win-win. So yes, Arizona's on my list. Arizona, Colorado is on my list. Tennessee, South Carolina, North Carolina is on my list. Florida is on my list. I just got Arkansas. So I'm working on some things that might shock y'all <laughs> if they happen and they work right, but I'm working on some things to try to make that a reality. All right, any other questions? Daytona, I don't think I'm going to be in Daytona this year, you guys. I was hoping to release my new luggage in Daytona, but unfortunately, uh, we're not going to make the deadline. I think I'm going to be doing my, my big in-person release in uh, Arizona Bike Week, I think is where that'll happen. Mark, man, I'm ready to have something in the Smokies. I want something in the Smokies so bad. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Patricia says, Florida and Tennessee. All right, I'm in it. What's, what's wrong, Randy? I see a sad face there, but I don't know what it's for. Oh, no Daytona probably. Yeah. No, not this year, guys. Not this year. I'll be in Savannah that weekend, actually. I'm speaking at a conference there, so I'm excited about that. Stay stubborn and I'll get these campgrounds. You're right, Marsha. I agree 100%. All right, guys. I feel like I've uh, probably spoke your ear off enough on this beautiful Sunday morning. I hope you all have a, had a beautiful weekend and make it a great week. Um, I know I'm going to be trying to do my best to make it a great week. I got some really cool content uh, coming for you all uh, next week out of the country. So I'm leaving the country next week and doing some uh, motorcycle stuff I can't wait to share with you. But you just have to stay tuned to my YouTube channel. That's where it'll be. So if you're not on my YouTube channel, please go to my YouTube channel. It's just Adam Sandoval on YouTube. Click that subscribe button. It's free for you. And um, I'm always working to make content for you over there. So please go to YouTube and watch Adam Sandoval, and you'll see where I'm riding my motorcycle next week out of the country. I'm pretty excited about it. All right, guys. Thank you all so much. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys can ride with me. Remember, there's only 200 spots for that motorcycle. That's stupid good odds. So, And we get to ride together. So go to pigtrailhd.com and sign up for that, and we will ride together April 20th, and maybe you'll be taking home a brand-new motorcycle. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.